average athlete at best. Uh, but it wasn't helped by the fact that every year I managed to blow myself up one way or the other. So I, <laughs> sophomore, sophomore year, I blew out a knee, shredded it. Junior year, making a tackle, I broke a shoulder. And senior year, with the starting position, I broke a thumb. Um, Daniel Bell's football helmet. And uh, I was pretty frustrated at, at that point. You know, I got why am I breaking my body doing this? And, and more than a few of us in here had Lila Pate for the language of the theater. And, and she was my English teacher and theater teacher, and she had given me the lead the year before in the, in the junior class play, which was in the spring. But the senior class play that she wanted me to try out for was during football season. So when I broke my thumb, she, you know, put this bug in my ear, hang it up, quick. You got the senior play coming up. She basically said, you got to leave if, if you want to do it. And so I'm thinking, oh, God, why don't I just bag this? What's the point? So I thought about it over the, over the weekend, so I made a decision, went into practice on, on Monday, and it's Don Taylor and I, who was a my favorite teacher, huge influence on me. Don and I sitting back in the, in the uh, coaches room. And Don is, is very methodically, piece by piece, with athletic tape, shaping this big, knit like cast for my thumb and my hand. We're sitting there, and he knew, he, he could tell something. He was, was really bugging me. He said, What's going on with you? And I said, Coach, I just don't know if it's good. I'm, I'm really thinking about it. And he said, uh, how much pain can you talk about? <laughs> Nobody had ever asked me that question before in my life. And being a 17-year-old, full of pee and vinegar teenager, I, I can I can, I can think a lot, thank you, coach. And, and he, he said, well, if you can, don't quit. I'll get you through this season. Just don't quit. Because if you quit, someday in your life, you're going to wake up and you're going to regret that you did that. And in addition to that, once you quit one thing, I mean something to you. Every time in the future you've got a challenge, it just gets all that much easier to quit. Because you've been down that road. <clears throat> Choice is yours. But if you can tolerate the pain, and you can tolerate the challenge, then don't quit because a day will come where you'll really be glad that you stuck it out. Long story short, I, st I stuck it out. I still stung with the football player. <laughs> but I stuck it out and we got to the end of the season and our final, uh, our, uh, at the end of our final game, we were thinking it's honey, we not have but that's, that's what my memory says. Final, final run goes off. It's the end of the season. It's all over. And, and Coach Don sought, sought me out and put both his mitts on my shoulder pads, and he said, "We did." There were many times when I was out there on this walk, especially going through that in the Utah desert, and it's 117 degrees every day, day after day, with no shade whatsoever on that side. Same thing. Why? Really? It's why not putting myself through this? Why don't I just catch the first grade last month? Um, words get back here. I, I honestly believe that it hadn't been for Don Taylor in the conversation. Seniors. I 
from me. I would have done it. So I wanted him here tonight to thank him in front of everybody. And I know there's others in this room. John Taylor was about everybody's favorite teacher back when we were your students have similar stories and feel that way. Uh, Don can't be with us tonight, but like I said, he's struggling. So in your own way, in your own time, tonight after this is over, however you choose to do it, throw up a prayer for that man. He really deserves it. He's a good man. Man, he's a lot. 